Following the installation of the secondary beams is the main beams. These require a bit more preparation than the secondary beams. Again, start by cutting the main beams to length and cutting your desired end treatments. Once all the main beams are cut, roll them so that the bottoms of the beams are facing up. Line the ends all up, and then clamp the boards together so that they don't move around relative to each other. While our plans give the locations for the notch cuts on the main beams, double check the measurements against your pergola, as it's possible that things are not exactly per plan. Mark the center of your beams, and then work out where the notches need to be located based on this. Doing this ensures that your main beams will be centered on the posts, and the overhangs on both ends will be the same. Using a circular saw with the blade set to the appropriate depth, make the cuts to establish the ends of the notches. A speed square is useful here as a fence for your saw in order to keep the cuts square. Once the ends of the notches are established, use the saw to cut out a bunch of curse from the notches. Then use a hammer and chisel to knock out the waste, and pair the bottoms of the notches smooth. Repeat on the other end of the beams. To install, rest one end of the beam on one side of the pergola and walk the other end up so that it can lay flat. Then roll the beam upright so that the notches nest over the secondary beams, tight against the posts. You may need to hammer the beams into place if the fit is tight. If the fit is too tight, take the beam down and widen the notch slightly, otherwise you risk splitting off the end of the beam. Fasten the main beams to the post according to the drawings, similar to the secondary beams in the previous video. Nails are shown in this example to temporarily hold the beam in place. Repeat the process for the remaining main beams. Coming next, we'll describe the process of installing the braces for your pergola, so stay tuned.